I'm making a fictional high-speed electric train for a fictional high-speed Outer Banks route that I'm working on. Now, the reason why I'm making this train in the first place is because originally I had been using the Shinkansen that are on the download station, but I wanted to be able to reskin the trains to the specific railroads that I have running on this line. I asked the creators of the original Shinkansen if I could have permission to reskin them, but they never got back to me, and it's been years, so I said, oh well, I guess I'll have to make my own train then. This train will be reskinned into the various railroads that operate on the fictional Outer Banks route. One of the highlights of this train is that it has an animated destination sign that can be edited. It flips between two lines of text, and you can change what appears on these two lines of text by editing the train in Explorer. There's a file called DEST, and that's where it'll have the textures for the destination sign. I also have animated doors. The train is equipped with headlights and ditch lights, as well as running numbers. Now, I did want to add tail lights too. In fact, I even have attachment points for tail lights, but I could not figure out how to get them to work in this game. I think you have to create a script for those, and I do not know how to script. So, for the time being at least, it looks like it won't have any tail lights. If you look closely, you'll even see a driver sitting in the train. Now, unfortunately, this game only has an attachment point for a standing driver, so if you want it to look like the driver is sitting down, you have to sink their legs into the seat. And it looks really weird, but you'll only notice if you put the camera directly into the cab. Most of the time, you won't really notice, though. Here's a closer look at the cab. The window is really reflective, so it's really hard to see through it, but don't worry because inside the train you won't notice that because it's using a cab that's on the download station with additional attachment points inside the train that lets you look inside the passenger area. Now, one common complaint in the United States about trains is that they're too cramped, so I designed this train specifically to look as large and roomy as possible. Most parts of the train that are normally cramped, I made them way larger. Here's the doorway that leads to the doors and the vestibule of the train. I made the vestibule a lot larger too, so it wouldn't look as cramped. Also, the vestibule is very large and wide so that the train stays connected on curves. A common problem in this game is that the vestibule won't stay connected on curves. So, I designed this specifically to fix that problem. Here's another look inside the vestibule. The doors have handles carved into them so that they can be pried open in the event of an emergency. This is where the information for the destination sign will be located. This is where you put the destination and the line information. The catenary lines will be 22.5 feet tall so that freight cars can fit under it because I plan on also having high speed freight running down this line with some fictional locomotives that I'll also be making for that route. So far I only have the locomotive but I'll make passenger cars for it later. The passenger cars are probably going to be slightly longer than a locomotive. So here's another look at the destination sign. As you can see, it's animated. This is the door that leads to the engineer's cab. And these are the seats. I used pictures of the seats in my car to make the textures for them. And here's the driving area. The interior was made entirely of emissive textures, so it glows in the dark. Sadly, the passengers do not, so they look like dark silhouettes. Despite the light, the lit interior, there's not much I can do about that. But the destination sign also glows in the dark.
The cab also has some emissive textures to give off the appearance that the gauges are still being used. Here's the train reflecting some sunlight.
I gave this train an airplane engine because I wanted to see how fast that engine could propel it. Let's see how fast it can go. Thank <laughs> you.